Hey guys, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. I'm live here for my second ever YouTube live video on mobile. Sometimes when it's Monday, like it is today in the USA, I'm in Arizona, which is right next to California. It's Monday and the earth had its own uh, cycles, just like the human body has its own cycles. The society that we have built as a human people also has its own cycles. And Monday is typically the day where everybody is sluggish, everybody is kind of a little bit sad that they have to go back to work, and it's the slow start to the week ahead. So today is Monday, and I thought it was appropriate that instead of jumping into a, a pond of freezing cold water and shocking our nervous system, and instead of going for a run, or instead of going to lift crazy weights at the gym, or spar, or do a martial art workout, we're going to stretch, and we're going to start this week slowly with a stretching routine that's going to set us up to be flexible, strong, athletic, and injury-free for the entire week. So, once you guys join me right now, get down on the floor, let's spend like 45 minutes together going through the stretching routine that I do at home here in my living room. And the only way that I know if you guys can see me or hear me okay, and the only way that I know if you guys like these live uh, videos is if you hit the thumbs up button right now. If you hit the share button right now and share the link to this video somewhere, share it on Instagram or share it on Facebook or share it on Snapchat. And if you comment down below and if it gets a lot of views, because the only way I have to interact with you guys is through the thumbs ups, the comments, the share button, and the views. So if I see that these videos are not popular, I'm not gonna do them anymore. If people like them, I enjoy doing them. If you guys like to follow along with me and I see that, I'll keep doing them. And we'll have this be a series we do of hundreds and hundreds of stretching routines. I do have my computer here right next to me so I can actually see in real time what I'm doing, so I can see if I'm in shot or out of shot. And it's pretty cool that I'm with you guys live right now in uh, Arizona, and it is just about six o'clock in the evening Arizona time. So let's start by getting our legs open just like this, and hold the legs in a V position, and put your palms in front. And as usual with these stretching routine videos, I want you guys to join me and I want us to breathe and count the amount of breaths we take instead of counting the seconds. So deep breath in your nose. Breathe out your mouth and go forward. And hold right there, breathe in the nose. Breathe out the mouth, go forward further. Another breath. Again. Go to the forearms. Again. If you guys get into the traditional martial arts and your teacher speaks Korean or Chinese or Japanese, and they don't speak English very well, every martial art grandmaster from Asia knows how to say again. <laughs> so I'll say with you guys now, again, breathe again. Two more. up nice and slow and let's go toward the right leg we're gonna go over the top of the right toes and bring the elbow down to the shin and hold right there how's the quality of the video and the audio can you guys tell me can you hear me and see me okay tell me in the comments stick your chest out toward me Drop your shoulders down. Relax into the stretch. Okay, breathing twice more.
and the other side. If you guys interact in the comments or the chat, I'll get in there at the end of the routine and I'll answer your questions and I'll talk with you in the, in the chat or the comments. So leave me a question or a uh, comment in the chat. Keep that breath going in your nose deeply. Out your mouth slowly. Two more. And come up slowly, very slowly. Bring the feet together slow. I always wear socks on my um, hardwood floor so that I can kind of glide and slide very carefully. It helps me transition from stretch to stretch. So let's turn to the side here and we're going to go this way. Breathing in, breathing out, reach for the toes. And let's hold this for 10 breaths. Every exhale, Stretch a bit further. Relax and give in to your body. Okay, three more breaths. Try to go a little further this time. Get one inch further than you've gone in a while. Your body can do it. One more. And up very slow, very slowly. Let's take our left leg, the left leg, and bring it over here. So your left leg is bent up, okay? And since my left leg is bent, I'm gonna also turn to the left. So my right elbow is kissing my left knee. I'm gonna drop my shoulders and sit tall, and then breathe in. Breathe out and go as far as I can, and twisting my waist, my shoulders and my neck, everything looking to the left. I don't know if you guys could hear my back popping a little bit, it always pops a bit. Now that we've done about five breaths, let's take our right hand and grab the right leg. So my right hand is grabbing my right knee. And then turn as far as you can, same direction. Looking all the way to the left. If you're just watching right now, shame on you. This video is not for watching. This video is for following along. Let's do three more breaths. Get on the floor and copy me, guys. Let's go together. You're never going to get flexible unless you push it through and try to get a little bit every day. Relax, uncoil and put the leg back to straight again and take one breath. I'm gonna spin this way for you guys. And the other side now, same stretch. We're gonna to go to this side. So now we're gonna go the right leg bent and the 
body turning to the right. So right leg bent and left elbow kissing the right knee. Sit tall, drop your shoulders. You feel like your spine is a spring or a corkscrew and it's slowly twisting further and further with each exhale. And while your body is twisting further, your nervous system, your brain, your blood, your muscles, and your organs are becoming more and more relaxed. And you guys know Dusty from last time. <laughs> he wants to come stretch too. Shoulders down, looking to the right as far as you can. Okay, your left palm, the left hand right here. I want it to grab onto your left knee. So left hand is grabbing left knee, drop the shoulders and twist again. Five more breaths. Good, slowly come out of it, nice and slow. Uh, straighten the right knee a little bit and take a breath. <sighs> okay, let's position ourselves like this. So we're gonna have one leg forward and one knee down. And hopefully I'm still in shot. And I think I am. I hope you guys can hear me and see me okay. I've been looking at the chat a little bit so I can kind of see your comments right now. So tell me if the footage is looking good. Hopefully there's good lighting, good audio, and get yourselves like this. Left leg forward, left leg in front. This is gonna be, all these stretches are extremely important for those of you who are martial artists and you kick a lot. This is gonna give you more flexibility and injury prevention. We don't want you to have any injuries. So these are kicking and martial arts and you know, and life. Stretches for kicking, stretches for life, stretches for martial arts. If you guys want a yoga mat, get one. Let's go low. Get into this position right here. We call this the broken wing stance, or the crane's broken wing. And it's really working my, my hips underneath, on the side, and the front of my hip on the back leg. Get as low as you can go. Hold it for three more breaths. Okay, take your left hand, left leg and left hand, next to each other, so the left hand is down. Take your right arm and twist it toward the sky, all the way up as high as you can. So left foot is in front, left hand is next to the left foot, and the right hand is up and the right leg is back. And hold right there. Deep breaths, guys, deep breaths. Exhale, twist further. And bring it back slowly, stay right there, don't move. Keep the left foot forward, I'll just turn and face you guys. And now we're gonna put the hands down right here. So our hands are next to our foot. 
We're going to call this the, the sleeping dragon position. And let's get the forearms down to the ground. So forearms are down. And try to look forward and hold right there. Five breaths. You guys want a different angle, you guys stay still. I'll turn for you. So you can see from this angle, and look at how my back leg is straight, or as straight as I can get it, trying to get lower and lower. Two more breaths. Come up nice and slow, back to the knee, hold right there. Let yourself kind of fall out naturally. And good, let's switch to the other leg. We're gonna go right leg forward. Same exact stretch, right leg in front this time. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out, separate the legs. And just go as low as you can go. That crane kneeling, or we call it crane's broken wing. We're not going to force anything today. We're going to breathe into the stretch. So breathe in, breathe out, and go lower. Okay, your right leg is forward. The right hand goes next to the right foot. So right hand, right foot next to each other. And take your left hand and twist as far as you can toward the sky. You hear that breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale and twist. One more. And down slow. Very nice. And let me turn toward you guys so you guys can see. Let's have both hands next to the next to the foot right here. Like dragon laying down pose. Just hold there for a second, stretch it out. Once you feel like you're ready to go to the next level, um, I'm gonna go down to my forearms. Let me turn so you guys can see. So right here. Let's go as low as we can, forearms down and hold it. Stretching is very much a spiritual and internal activity for me. So I want you guys to kind of quiet your mind, close your eyes, and just copy my breath pattern. Breathe in, breathe out, go lower. Three more. Breathe in, come up slowly, kneel again and let the body fall out naturally. Good. We're going to switch back to the left leg again. So left leg is in front once again, okay? Let's do another stretch similar to the previous one but a little bit different this time. You're not allowed to kneel. You have to actually sink down into the stretch like this. Okay, so this does not count. You have to separate the legs and sink down into the stretch like this. That way you're activating your hips and your groin muscles, your pelvic region. Let's take the left knee forward and the right elbow kissing the left knee. So right elbow and left knee touching each other, prayer position, 
Point the left elbow toward the sky and twist as far as you can. And let's do the five to 10 breaths. Breathing deeply, inhale. Exhale slow. And relax into the stretch a little deeper with each breath out. And up slowly, uncoil, back to kneel position, and let the body just kind of fall out naturally as we take a breath. I do a lot of gardening when I'm not doing martial arts, so can you guys tell how my upper body is nice and tan and my lower body needs a tan? <laughs> Maybe I'll do some sunbathing coming up here to get uniform skin color. Let's go the other leg forward, same thing. So right leg forward, you're with me now, right leg in front. Separate the legs, sink down as low as you can go. Activate those hips, get down into that stretch, get down. Once you've gotten as low as you can go, left elbow next to the right knee. So left elbow, right knee, kissing together, prayer position, drop the shoulders, twist the spine, and point the elbow up toward the sky. And let's hold there for five to 10 breaths. Lower and lower, twisting further and further with each exhale. That was a good pop. Okay, one more, hold it. And come up slowly and kneel there and let the body fall out naturally while you take one breath. Very nice. Let's come up on the feet. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit so we can do some stretching while on the feet. And I'm gonna just see if I'm in shot here. It's a little bit too high, let me do it again. There we go, perfect. So stand up with me here, left leg, just a normal quad stretch, stretching the thigh or the quadricep. And let's just hold our balance and stretch right here. I like to kind of push my belly button to the front so that I get a little bit of that lower back stretch. It feels so good to me and it helps me stay healthy. So shoulders down and back a little bit. Point the knee toward the floor and hold there. Good balance. A little smile. Deep breath. Okay, from there, same leg. You gotta keep your balance. Bring it up in front to that hamstring style stretch and bring the knee as high as you can. I teach a lot of Tai Chi, and a lot of times when I teach Tai Chi during the week in the mornings, it's for an older crowd that's like over the age of 50 or 60, and a lot of them are retired. And it's amazing to me how many people over the age of 50 have really terrible balance. And personally, I do not think it's because they are over the age of 50. 
I think it's because they have not been practicing their balance. So whether you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or 100, if you practice balance, you will get better at it and you'll have better balance. So let's practice right now, lift it up. From there, turn the leg to the side, grab the shin and the ankle, and lift this up and straighten your back and stick your chest out and hold there and get the ankle about waist height. Very good, get it going back behind you to the original position, same leg, we're still on the same leg. Put the fingers out in front, and let's lift it into that dance pose. We call it Lord of the Dance Pose in yoga, but this is really good for kickers and for martial arts, traditional Chinese martial arts. This is one of our Qigong postures. Lift as high as you can, drop the shoulders, and kick the leg out. If you can go higher than me, then please do so. I'm a martial artist, not a ballet dancer, but I do the best I can. And try to hold that balance like a rock. Down slowly. And what was hardest about that? Was it the leg that was up or the leg that was down? Most people I teach talk about the bottom leg getting more conditioning, especially because it keeps having to reposition. So let's shake it out for a second. I'm gonna bring this a little bit lower. And let's do the other leg, same exact stretch. I'll turn this way and bring the leg up behind. And hold there. Shoulders down, chest open, deep breath. Okay, bring the knee up in front and let's stretch the hamstring. Breathe in, breathe out and lift. Lift higher, breathe deeper. I can feel the earth talking to me through my bottom foot, giving me power, like an earthbender, if any of you watch Avatar. Turn the leg to the side, shin and ankle, and once you're in position, drop the shoulders, chest out and open, and lift the leg up at least, at least as high as your waist. Keep going. And down slowly. Let's turn, grab the leg in the original position and try to get to that dance position where we put the hands out in front and lift as high as you can go, holding good balance. Two more. And 
down slowly. Very nice, you guys. While we're there, let's try to uh, get a forward stretch going on here. I'm gonna bring this back down. Bear with me, I gotta make sure you guys are able to see what I'm doing. Let's get ourselves standing up, doing a forward stretch, and hold the forward stretch right here. Fingertips to the ground is stage one. Deep breath in. Breathe out the knuckles like a fist is stage two. Again, fist. Stage three is get the palms to the ground. So let's try. Deep breath. One more lower. Stage four is grabbing behind the Achilles heel or the Achilles tendon and pull the head down toward the knees. And hold that for three breaths. Come up slowly, feel the lower back transitioning through the middle back to the upper back and the neck and slowly coming up, slow, slow, slow. And just stand there and let the body fall out naturally for one breath. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, breathe in and breathe out. Good, open your eyes and let's have a seat on the ground for our final stretch today. Lay back on the ground right here and make sure that I'm in the frame. Okay, take a deep breath and roll it back onto your back. I'm gonna go for it. Stay there, get the legs up toward the ceiling. Pull the toes back and press the heels out. For kickers, this is brutally important. Pull the toes back, press the heels out, and straighten the knee. So we're really activating everything behind the legs here, really essential for kicking supremacy. So breathe in, breathe out, bring the legs back as far as you can bring them. Keep the toes back, the heels pressed out, and the knees straight. Again, deep breath. Go back further. Touch the ground. Keep breathing, you guys, keep breathing. Relax into the stretch, farther back. Reach the hands back as far as you can. Two more. And slowly come back to normal position. Get the lower back on the ground again and point the heels up toward the sky. Push the heels out, pull the toes back, straighten the knee. And 
and sit on up and bring the body back to a butterfly position right here. Quick to central kicker stretch, butterfly position. Pull the feet in toward the groin and chest out, shoulders down, back straight, sit tall, breathe in. Breathe out, lower those knees, push those knees toward the floor. Deep breath. Now exhale, bring the head down toward the floor. And I like to put my elbows on my inner thighs and I push my legs down using my elbows as my head goes forward. So let's do it together. One more breath, you guys, one more. As low as you can go. Come up slowly. Let's cross the legs, put the hands, relax on the knees, and give me five, what we call in the Chinese martial arts, stabilizing breaths, where we breathe a little more aggressively and athletically. So breathe in using the full lung capacity. Breathe out hard. I don't care if it's your chest, your dang tian, just breathe it the whole diaphragm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more. Two more. That's it, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Probably about a 30 minute or so, 30, 35 minute stretching routine. I'm gonna make each routine different. And actually, this is um, not a morning routine. This is an evening routine. Let me change that right now on the title. My evening stretching routine for martial arts, part two. Because the morning one was part one. And let me see what you guys are saying in the chat for about two minutes if you wanna hang with me. If you don't want to hang for the chat, feel free to turn this episode off. I'll throw some videos um, up in the corner, upper right hand corner, you guys can watch for more stretching routine. Down below in the comments and description right now, I'm going to go grab five of my favorite flexibility and stretching routine videos from the past five years. I'll put them down there and those are essential to do if you want flexibility, injury prevention, massive amounts of strength, cat-like strength, flexible strength and uh, kicking power and kicking height, kicking speed and kicking ability. This, this kind of routine is essential to do every single day. And uh, maybe one of these live sessions, I'll do my full kicking routine here with you guys in the living room. Because I have better Wi-Fi connection here as opposed to outside. So I have about uh, 12 new YouTube videos already filmed, ready to upload for you guys. Some really good stuff with some really good people. I'm uh, going to be collaborating with an amazing martial artist tomorrow, and I will keep it a mystery. I won't tell you guys who it is, uh, but he has a YouTube channel as well. I'll be collaborating with him tomorrow, and uh, we'll be doing some cool videos together. And if you guys uh, can, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and uh, I will see you guys back here next time for the next live video. Don't forget to practice some kind of martial arts every single day. In the chat, in, in the chat, John says that Vladimir Putin is in better shape than he is. <clears throat> oh, I see. I don't know what that means. Let's see here. Anybody have any questions? Let me look through. There's a lot of chat comments. Let me pick out a couple that I think are are good here. That level of flexibility is incredible. Uh, Hello Goodbye 753 said this. You know, I appreciate the compliment, but here's the thing. Every time that I think that I'm getting more flexible on a particular stretch, and I feel like I am a pretty flexible guy, because I'll see other people in my same age group that are not that flexible. 
every time that I start feeling good about myself, I go hang out with one of my yoga friends or I go hang out with one of um, my friends who did, does Cirque du Soleil style training. And the Cirque du Soleil people and the yoga people that focus on flexibility are so much more flexible than me. But I do the best I can. I'm, I'm not terrible, but I do the best I can. And I'm trying to stretch for martial arts ability and in a Qigong way that enables me to live a long, healthy life with a flexible and capable body. I want to be 120 years old and still able to be an incredibly functioning member of society. Let's see here. Uh, Zfram911 is saying, this guy is like the real Iron Fist, uh, minus the hot body and the money. So apparently, Zfram thinks that I'm the real Iron Fist, but that I'm not hot and I have no money. So I guess I'm gonna say uh, thank you for your backhanded compliment, <laughs> Zfram. Let's see here. I'm gonna answer two more questions here in the chat and then I'm gonna get out of here. Let's see here. My whole life, since my name has been Jake, my whole life, um, everybody always likes to rhyme my name, like Jake the Snake or Jake the Rake, or Jake, can you make <laughs> a cake? Jake, can you bake me a cake and make it with a rake? And so what's cool about YouTube is that the, the trolls out there who don't even matter, they, um, they like to call me Jake the Fake, so I don't mind, it's okay. My whole life people have been rhyming with Jake. Let's see here. As a woman, sometimes I feel like I struggle harder with certain moves that might come more easily for men, like push-ups. But I definitely feel like watching your videos helps. You know, that's true. I find that um, I've been around a lot of women and a lot of men within the martial arts. Let me get closer to you guys. When I get closer, we'll, uh, we'll come on down here and I'll get closer for this so that we can uh, be a little more intimate together here. Let's see. How close is that? That's pretty good. Let's go a little bit lower with my camera here. So I really have seen a lot of men training in the martial arts and I've seen a lot of women training in the martial arts. And I do not think that men and women can do the same things. Uh, I don't know how that sounds. I believe that men and women are equal and men and women should be considered equal as far as the law goes, as far as gender equality goes. But I have found that it's just a fact that men do certain things very, very well and women do different things very, very well. That men sometimes can suck at certain things and women also sometimes are terrible at certain things. So I find that men and women do different things either better or worse than each other, but they're equal, okay? So I have found that for the most part, women are more flexible than men for the most part. There are exceptions to the rule. There are some women who are not flexible and some men who are incredibly flexible. For the most part, men are stronger than women. Now there are exceptions to the rule. I've seen some men that are very weak and I've seen some women that are stronger than me. But for the most part, I have found men are stronger than women. I find that women oftentimes have a better technique than men. And so the power of a woman can come from her flexibility. A power, the power of a woman can come from her speed, because women tend to be very fast, very quick. And the power of a woman tends to come from her technique. The power of a man tends to come from his strength. The power of a man tends to come from his power. So if you can know, if you're a woman, try to become a master of what you're good at naturally, but also strengthen what you're not good at naturally, like push-ups, if um, this comment is about push-ups. If, you if you're a woman and you don't think you do push-ups very well, focus on push-ups and become amazing at push-ups. Because there are plenty of women out there who are better than men at push-ups. I follow this woman, I don't know her personally, but I follow this woman named Jessie Graff. She's the uh, American Ninja Warrior girl. She's incredible. Her, in her Instagram is incredible to follow because she shows feats of strength all throughout the day that are beyond that I can do. And she also has a really cute pig that she always had, like an actual pig that's inside all of her videos. Now, if you're a man and you have a lot of power, you should become a master at strength. Men 
don't feel bad about being a man. You know, I'm a guy. I've only ever been a guy. I embrace my manhood and I like to have a lot of strength and power. But I also recognize that the emotional side of things, the flexible side of things, the speed side of things, and the technique side of things might be lacking for me. So I try to strengthen the parts of my martial arts style that men are typically not good at. So men, you have inherent yang in your body. So it's important for you to bring in some of the female yin to balance you out. And women, you have inherent yin in your body. So it's important that you go get some of the, the male and masculine yang and bring it into your body. Men and women are equal. They're both part of the yin yang, but they're both good at different things. So know yourself and strengthen your deficiencies and practice it every single day. Because life's about, life is like a painting that takes a long time to paint. Make a little bit of progress every single day. Don't try to complete the whole painting in one day. You guys, I love you. Thank you for, um, <laughs> whoever this is, Heiki Kani. Heiki Kani must have watched my uh, YouTube video and my Instagram because my friend Daisy Delgado was punching me in the rib cage a lot and John Gate is saying amazing he's doing this after having his ribs broken uh, a Mexican girl breaking your ribs isn't so bad so Daisy Delgado is a really a good boxer and her um, husband and her family comes from the Benavides camp uh, they're, they're world ranked um, uh, boxers uh, David and Jose Benavides and Daisy's amazing in her own right. She's, I would consider her uh, a world-class elite professional boxer. And she hit me hard. And the thing that happened was that you guys only saw the one video that I used for YouTube and Instagram. We did that four or five times just for fun before the camera was rolling. And on that last take, I did feel a rib pop. And uh, I don't know if I put that one on YouTube or not, but the last take, I felt like she got she got me in the ribs so many times that by the last one, I felt a little bit of a crack. And so I have been nursing a broken rib, but I've had worse, and I've probably been injured and sore my entire life since I've been a teenager. So it's just par for the course for me. I'm used to having broken noses and um, sore muscles and cracked bones and broken ribs and uh, and a bunch of knots on my eyes and cauliflower ear. I'm used to all that. So. I'm not complaining. She can break my ribs anytime. You guys, I love you. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'm gonna head out for today. I think this live format is pretty cool and I hope it's something we can do together and we can expand upon coming up. So, peace. Thanks for watching. If you guys wanna do this workout again, go back, watch it again, refresh the page and hopefully I'll come back to you guys tomorrow or the next day with another live stretching or kung fu or tai chi or meditation or workout video here on my YouTube channel and I want to say thank you to you guys because in about nine days we're going to hit uh, half a million subscribers here at the uh, Kung Fu and Tai Chi with Jake Mace uh, YouTube channel. We call it the Shaolin Center YouTube channel and I want to thank you guys. I can remember when I got my 1,000th subscriber and I felt that was so amazing. I remember I had a couple videos up on YouTube and we got to a thousand subscribers and I felt, I sat back and I said, hey, you know, I'm teaching six classes a day at my school, Phoenix Longevity Arts. And I have about 50 people in each class, maybe 30 to 50 people in each class. And all my classes are pretty full. There's a thousand people watching me here on YouTube. I'm like, that's, that's pretty cool. Imagine if I had a class full of a thousand people. That's what's happening on YouTube right now. And we've done that 500 times. So the fact that there are 500,000 of you, a half a million of you watching, um, it's, it's great to see that there's still an interest in Tai Chi, Qigong, and Kung Fu. I have a very traditional background training, the Chinese martial arts. I pretty much invested the better part of my teenage years and my 20s into the Chinese martial arts. And now I'm 35 and I still practice and teach and uh, do videos for you guys to this day. So. I try to go back to China every two or so years, um, and someday I'll expand more about my lineage and my history and my teachers and where I actually learn from. Uh, but I just appreciate that you guys have an interest. Let's keep the traditional martial arts alive, whether it's Japanese, Korean, whether it's Indonesian, whether it's Chinese. Let's keep them alive, because MMA 
and mixed martial arts is a modern day phenomenon, but the traditional martial arts is what I prefer to practice, and I think that there's more to martial arts than just the fighting. You have to use the skills gained within the martial arts to be able to defend yourself, have a strong body, have a focused and disciplined mind, and have a healthy body that carries you through a great life. Whether it's business, relationships, goals, fitness, travel, whatever you do in life, the martial arts can enhance it by raising the quality of your life. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I can't wait to give you guys the new videos I'm filming and the collaboration I'm doing tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to, I can't wait to show you guys this. It's gonna be a fun one. Uh, this is Jake May signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll get in the comments and I'll answer some more questions as always. And I'll see you guys right now on my Instagram and Snapchat, Jake Mace Tai Chi. If you want to message me, that's where I'll be for the next 12 hours is Instagram and Snapchat. I'll see you guys there.